as an alternative to copying to the clipboard, you could also just immediately save to a file. So if you have a group of nodes you'd like to save, again, you could select them all or just select a portion of them. You could go here to the main menu, select the nodes, go to the main menu, say export to library. Now that sounds a little confusing, but all it means is that it will save the selected nodes to a file um, right on the Raspberry Pi in this case. So we'll say export to library and then we'll have to give it a name. So this will look something like that when you start it. And I'll just say here, test file, and then we'll say export. And then we could go over to FileZilla. I'll log in here with FileZilla just because I think it's an easier way to, to see the files here. I logged in with Pi, and then we'll go to the dot node red folder and you'll see here lib. And that's what, um, that's what this means when you say export to library, export to library. That's kind of what that means and you go here under lib and in flows, you should have the file name that you wanted. So test file.json. And if you had a look at that, then you would see that it is just the same JSON object stored in a file um, on the Raspberry Pi. And then you could use FileZilla to, to pull that over to your computer and then do whatever you like with it. So that's another way to back up a flow in Node-RED.